money calling in, check the ringtone. Uh, then I dip, I can't stay long. Uh, perpetrators on the scene trying to clone me. Uh, back then I was ghost, now you know me. got Kaminsky. Green is out there with Porter. Then it's Christian Wood. And it's Martin in at the three. And for Detroit, Plumley out there with Jeremy Grant. Then there's Hayes. Then it's Cunningham. And it's Christopher in at the two. Tip-off goes to Houston. Now Green. And it's sent back by Plumley. Now Detroit moving it up. Grant leading the charge. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Here is Cunningham. Right wing. It's stolen by Green. And now running it up the court. Green pushing it all the way. Every team looking to get easy ones in transition. I think one of the best ways, guys, to score in transition is that quick hitter after the first burst. Plumley, the pass to Hayes. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. I tell you what, you better watch out, fellas. He is on fire here today. And we all know what can happen when he gets rolling. A hot start can turn into an explosive scoring night. Here is Cunningham. There's the three. Hands it from downtown. Green finds Kaminsky. Back to Green. Fires from deep. Good on the three-point shot. Green's got seven points in the game. You know, you're going to have success when you can start out shooting 80% from the game. So early offensively, they've been great. That's the way you like to start. To the wing right side. Score it. His third straight basket in three tries. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. And I remember when Doncic was first asked, who is your favorite player? And, boy, he did not hesitate. LeBron James. Hey, Greg, for guys of his generation, that would be the answer for 80 to 90 percent of them, and with good reason. How about these quotes from Doncic? He said, if I dunk on LeBron, I can retire. But I like this one. Whoa, oh, was my a strong goodness. dunk. Watch out below. Grant just showing no regard for the bucket there, looking like he was trying to tear that thing off. Pass to Green. Oh, 
the pass to Porter. Five on the clock. Plumley with the rebound. Well, you know he wants that one back. I mean, more often than not, he'll sink that mid-range jumper. And the dunk by Grant. Boy, take a look at the hops of Grant. I mean, really getting up and sending a message with that alley-oop. Porter, good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Stay out here. Pass to Cunningham. They double him with Green. Passes it to Christopher. Lets it go with a three. Nailed from three-point land. He might not have the long-range ability of some other guys, but he will knock down open ones like that. And Houston calls their first time out of the game. Boy, your alma mater, UNLV, Greg, has produced some great NBA players over the year. Has to exit. Fires the three. It's Cunningham with the rebound. Detroit leading by four. And Dumboya now top the key. Count it good. Oh, great ball movement there. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Hey, I thought there was some style there, guys. What are you guys looking at? I mean, it was still a pretty sweet, flavorful one-hand flush. Five to shoot. It's stolen by Green. Oh, and here we go. Green's got it. The fast break chance. And then Porter with the jam. And, guys, I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. In a close game, the important thing is to get the two points, not necessarily the dramatics. Oh, come on. He had to go for that, didn't he? My goodness. I can't fault the guy for adding a little flavor to things. Here's Cunningham. From 13 feet, it goes down. Cunningham's got nine. And with that one, he halts an 11-0 run by the Rockets. Outside, Green launches a three. That's another one for him, his fifth in just seven shots. And we've seen several lead changes tonight, neither team giving an inch. Yeah, and the lead has changed hands, and it just hasn't stayed in those hands very long when it's changed. Back and forth we go. Grant kicks to Hayes. To the middle, here's Cunningham, and then Cunningham with the dunk. Well, guys, this first half has been about as tightly contested as you could hope for. There have been a lot of lead changes. My goodness. Out to the right wing. How's the pass to Porter? Hayes with the steal. Here's Cunningham. And then Cunningham with the dunk. Gotta take care of the ball. They'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless. That's right. And that's severe punishment right there. Exactly. I mean, when you're running neck to neck, those kinds of mistakes tip the scales. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Here's Hayes. Wood with the block. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Pistons will retain possession. One twenty-five left to play in the first half. Throws it up high, and it's slammed in by Plumley. And how about the incredible timing on that alley -oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Boy, I tell you what, that's the play we'll remember if they can put together a little surge to break this game open. And yes, it's good. Porter's got eight. He kicks it to Cunningham. And the shot goes in. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Five straight baskets resulting from assists. They're playing as one unit out there. Here's Adams. Sweet move. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's going to be on Mason Plumley. It seems like every team, Greg, needs that one enforcer, that one guy who's going to get under opponent's skin. Well, in one poll of coaches and players, Adams was voted the second dirtiest player in the league. One guy said he's real physical, but Shooting two. maybe he crosses the line. Throws the sneaky elbow here and there. Commits extra hard fouls, yet Adams usually escapes foul trouble. They throw good Adams. Stewart's checked in for Mason Plumley. Diallo kicks to Grant. It's hauled in by Wood. 
I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Outside green and finished off by Wood. And how about the communication between teammates on that alley -oop? And that's what you need to pull that thing off. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Here's Green. That one is good again. He's six for eight from the floor with the basket. Sensational ball movement there. When you pass the ball like that, good things happen. Now here's Hayes. He's covered closely. Boy, you've really got to put those away, especially against soft interior defense. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. That's their third straight make off an assist. The Rockets shooting their seventh free throw attempt here. Free throw good, Wood. Just over a minute and a half have passed here in the third quarter. Smith on the wing, guarded by Green. They get it back, and it's slammed in by Plumley. Nothing soft about the putback there. And why chance it, right? Take the dunk if you've got it. Well, you know, if nobody's going to put a body on him, then that's going to be the result. And it's Green with the jam. They've come out here with authority. Again, the miss by Smith. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down, try to get some easy ones. Now, here's Bradley. He's guarded closely. You know, one of the things Jackson is well known for is his defense. I mean, he's athletic, he's got good timing, and he really relishes playing defense. And his length is actually very helpful as well. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, G.A., right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Yeah, you know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up, take the initiative, and make something happen. Augustine against Jackson. Count it. And the Rockets lead by eight. Really good to see Augustine getting it done from there because it proves he's not just a jump shooter. And D.J. Augustine, a veteran guard who's always had an impact when he's on the floor. He gives you leadership, shooting, and playmaking off the bench. Tell you what, Greg, when he was with the Pacers during my time working for the team, I really grew to appreciate and respect his game even more than I did from a distance. You're exactly right. I mean... He's a barometer for just about any team he's played on and that when he plays well, it lifts everybody else's game. That's just the kind of experienced, calming effect veteran he is. Detroit making a switch here. Hayes is checked in. And so Cunningham nails both of them. And so it's Exum with it. He'll bring it up for the Rockets. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. Pushing it up. Bay gets the bucket. Bay's got five points in the quarter. That's good from Cunningham. And the Rockets making a change here. And so Cunningham nails both of them. Adams, the pass to Tate, buries it from three-point range. It's been like this all night for both teams, the offenses having their way. Any lull in the action so far has been short-lived because there have been nothing but buckets in this one. Here's Cunningham, nails the baby hook. Here we go, get it up. Cunningham with the slam. Vital basket there. This is just the time and really just the situation when he looks to take over. And you know that's right. I mean, he's looking to put his stamp. Kevin will see if they can build on this lead. Okay, David, thanks. 
And this is where Adams has the biggest impact. The closer to the basket, the more effective he is. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Wow, wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. In a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Rockets. Boy, their passing has been picturesque. A thing of beauty in both halves. More than a few of their baskets have come off assists. And, and also, how about the points they've gotten in transition or on the fast break tonight? That's been a huge factor as well. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. Outside, green. Over Cunningham. Green, no luck. Pistons trail by four. That's tipped. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. And so it's Houston with it. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for Houston. Basket good. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to him? And no let up in him either, guys. I mean, he wants to continue to expand that lead. And as long as he's the one taking the shots, that lead's going to expand. Here's Porter. And finished off by Porter. Superb focus from Grant that time defensively protecting the rim, keeping his eyes on the ball so he could anticipate that shot. Cunningham passes to Plumley, And it's slammed in by Plumley. And, guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. And, guys, I like the fact that he chose the one-hand tomahawk slam because you get a little higher. Six on the shot clock. Houston needs to get a shot. And finished off by Wood. <laughs> he just bangs down the one-hand. Two very easy points right here. He'll take those all day long. Hayes with it. Working on green. Back to Hayes. From outside the arc. Here's Grant and the dunk by Grant. Well, I tell you, I think Grant's athleticism was what allowed him to win out there. Porter looking it over. Passes it to Tate. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. There's 117 left in the game. There's the triple. A three-pointer is right on target. You know what, guys? Honestly, I didn't think he'd win that battle. I mean, that's a lot of height to give up. The shot's good. Boy, he's playing out of his head, nailing everything. And the defense is scrambling to try to stop him right now. And so far, no go. Forty seconds left here in the fourth quarter. The dunk and the foul—a powerhouse move—and he's got a chance for one more at the line. It's going to be a Mason Plumley, and it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy one and a shot. great one run shot. to finish it off. Here is Cunningham. Here is Christopher. And it's off from three-point range. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. Yep, to have a stress-free win on the road, very satisfying. The fans are already headed for the exit. Here is Cunningham, guarded by Porter. Plumley, the pass to Cunningham. Goes back up. That's good. So we see Houston taking the W here. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, gee, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. And we'll see you next time.
truth, best believe it's the chills All I got is one shot, like P. Millie, I can't miss Got a lot of goals to achieve on the list